My name's Wendy Craig, and it's a privilege for me to be able to talk to you today about the Brain Behavior and Cognitive Science Graduate Program in Psychology. This program is multidisciplinary. We have researchers who do work with neuroimaging. We have researchers who do work in virtual reality, in attention, in perception, in understanding space and, and cognition around how we think about space. Students are exposed to a number of different types of techniques, diverse methods, and also an opportunity in to engage in monthly discussions with others who may not be in their area through a monthly seminar series. The BBCS program at Queen's University is a good choice for prospective grad students because it gives you the opportunity to be involved in research programs that are highly collaborative and collegial across the faculty and be involved in multidisciplinary research. So I've had the opportunity to collaborate with individuals in uh, social psychology um, and I've also had an opportunity to collaborate with individuals that do sex research here, which has been a fantastic experience for me because it's broadened my understanding of psychology and behavioral neuroscience. One example is that a number of us have started using virtual reality in our research and having a number of different labs working on this problem simultaneously um, really allows us to push that, um, the techniques uh, for that technology. Queen's University is really an excellent place to teach and do research. I get to interact with many bright, highly intelligent students at both the undergraduate and graduate levels as well as interact and collaborate with many of the faculty here who are the top of their fields and be engaged in interdisciplinary and multidisciplinary research. Um, I knew for a long time that Queen's had a really established reputation in the field of research that I was interested in. Um, the department here is really well known. The professors are top class. And it was a really easy choice once I realized that Queen's was very open to working with international students. So it became obvious to me that Queen's was one of the best options for a student who wants to go forwards in research. Initially when I was making my decision about what university I would come to, um, the things that drew me to Queen's were sort of threefold. The first was the science that was happening here. So um, what I wanted to study was being researched here in specific labs and it really fell in line with my um, desires as a budding graduate student. The second thing was the people. The uh, people are absolutely wonderful here. They're so great and I've had nothing but good experiences with the graduate students and with um, the instructors here and finally Kingston is a beautiful place and the campus itself is just wonderful there are a lot of resources here for students and it's just a beautiful place to go to school the BBCS department at Queen's in psychology is a really good choice if you want those opportunities and not just for collaboration with people in the department which is great but also outside the department and we're always moving towards this uh, more industry focused uh, system in uh, some of our fields of research at the moment and at Queen's you really get the chance to get those connections with people to really network and those are productive connections too which lead to things in the end. Outside of Queen's I've also had the opportunity to collaborate with some institutions in the area that are affiliated with the university. So for example I've worked with uh, Kingston General Hospital looking at improving um, some aspects of their sort of patient care as it relates to um, treatment and psychology. One of the strengths of this program is that the training that you receive is good for pursuing an academic track but there's also a lot of opportunities to train to go into industry and we've had examples of many of our grad students going on into industry and doing really really well so a PhD doesn't necessarily mean that you become a professor but there's also a, a great number of challenges that exist within the industry that would be perfect for graduates from this program. As I was starting out my graduate experience and my master's in the early years of my PhD, I actually received a lot of guidance um, and instruction from the various teachers, educators, and investigators here at Queen's. And that was really useful for me as I was starting out in order to sort of understand the breadth of the science that I was getting into and also understand how to sort of build a research project and ask the right questions. One of the best parts for me is that this mentoring relationship with a student doesn't actually end when you graduate. Many of the students that have moved on, I continue to have relationships with them, continue to support them in the career, and it's really satisfying for me to see someone um, as they go through their career 
and grow up through the ranks um, and I can be there to support them in any way that I can. The advice I would give prospective students who would like to do graduate training in the BBCS program is that they should contact their potential faculty advisors and come visit and meet with them one-on-one -on -one and determine whether they believe the uh, advisor-student relationship would be a good one as well as explore potential programs of research with that individual. At Queen's, in this department of psychology, we have a lot of really open professors who love to talk about their research and getting in touch and saying that you are interested is a really great way of starting that conversation that could go anywhere.